The iPhone 11 was just caught in the wild, uh, sort of, as we also get images from case makers. LG announces a new G8 variant that also supports their neat dual display case, and the Google Pixel 4 keeps on getting interesting, this time with a better display. I'm Jaime Rivera, one more time from the hotel room here at IFA. We're actually going to PepCon from here. It's been a crazy day, and this is the time that I have to record to get the video out on time for you guys. We've got a ton of coverage already up and more coming up. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for the Apple Watch Series 4, you should wait for the 5. I mean, it'll probably get announced in a couple of days, but uh, still, I mean, I know that some of you are tight on time. So, uh, all right. Amazon is currently clearing their inventory of the Apple Watch Series 4 ahead of the keynote. You can find it up to $84 off in some cases, but uh, uh, we also see them up to $50 off across the board. Obviously, it depends on the variant that you're looking for, but still, you know, it's, it's, it's better than paying full retail for a product that's about to become obsolete. You'll learn more in the description. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Fold. You saw our hands-on video, and if you haven't, you should, over what things have changed in the design of this device. I had an opportunity to play with it. I'm really stoked to get a review unit one more time, and it seems that the Korean market is as well. According to a report, the device pretty much sold out in Korea on all carriers yesterday. However, there is a catch. According to the Korea Herald, reports have it that uh, this was so exclusive that there are only 1,000 units available or around that number. And for the price tag, it is a good sign that even with a product this expensive, people are still stoked to get it. I love the time that I had with it, but uh, obviously I will tell you more about the experience once we get it again. Now let's talk about the LG G8 X ThinQ that was also announced here at IFA. Uh, our hands-on video is already live. I'm not going to bore you with specifics. This is a really interesting approach because LG doesn't yet believe in foldables even though they do make flexible OLEDs. Uh, they want another approach where they give you two screens. We already saw what the device or the concept can pretty much do with the V50 ThinQ, but not in the United States. That was stuck in Korea. It packs a 6.4 inch OLED display with a smaller notch uh, since it ditched the C camera. The thing about it is it's a bigger 4,000 milliamp hour battery, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage expandable. This phone, uh, again, has support for the dual display, but it's a different case. It's actually not the one from the V50. It's lighter, thinner, a lot of things. And uh, interesting is that this second display also has a notch, which I found completely hilarious. Uh, obviously, we'll have to wait for a launch time. I'll keep you posted for that. Now, one device that went completely under the radar, but we've been covering rumors, and it finally got announced yesterday, is that Motorola One Zoom device. It has a 6.4-inch display with a water drop notch, a Snapdragon 675, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. Its main selling point is the quad camera setup, which packs a 48-megapixel primary, 16-megapixel ultra-wide lens, 5-megapixel depth sensor, and an 8-megapixel telephoto that can shoot up to 10x zoom. And uh, the other selling point is that it sells for $450. Yesterday, I could not attend the Lenovo event because we were horribly double booked. It was a crazy day. I will get you a hands-on video because I really do want to know if it's worth it, particularly for the price. I'll keep you posted. Now, for those of you in the market for the Google Pixel 4, yes, I know this phone is ugly so far, but uh, apparently it'll bring features that make it compelling. At least I hope. XDA has just found that Android 10 source code mentions that the Pixel 4 will bring a 90 hertz display, which is also something that's been rumored before. According to the source code, developers will have the option to check if their apps run at 90 hertz on a Pixel 4. The code also reveals that this toggle on 90 hertz switch will be available only to Pixel devices in 2019 or at least the 2019 pixels is what I also understood. Whatever the case may be, you know what worries me? The pixel displays are already horribly dim and 90 Hertz is only gonna make them dimmer. So let's hope they fix that part. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max. I know the names are horrible, but this is not the case. Right now, it seems that because of a recent leak, somebody's either gonna lose their job or whatever the case may be. We started the day with a lot of leaks of dummy devices, which is expected. These come from case makers, and obviously, by the time we get those, it's pretty much legit, but uh, it looks like uh, it was also found or spotted in the wild by somebody who fell asleep on a subway and was holding the phone in their hands. This appeared in Weibo. Uh, I'm hoping that's, well, it has to be an Apple employee if that's the case. Uh, 
whatever the case may be, we saw that whole possible lavender color. Let us know in the comments down below. I mean, what do you think? Uh, it seems that this is pretty much legit. Do you like what you see? Even if the photo's a little blurry, do you think the guy should lose his job or that Apple should be a little more compassionate? Because in my case, I mean, come on. Uh, Apple, your cycle remains relevant because of the leaks. So if anything, you should thank the guy and get the guy promoted. But that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal accounts to see what I do here in Berlin. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. Over the weekend, we will see you with more hands-on videos.